Hello again, YouTube. Um, I've already made a couple of sigil videos, but I wanted to make another one because I, I rewatched my videos, um, not necessarily in their entirety, but kind of skimmed through and I noticed that, well, let's just say that my technique has gotten better since I made those videos. And I, I guess I want to show off maybe a little bit that I can actually make the sigils not take fucking 50 minutes like it did before. Um, also, I'm trying out the picture in picture so that you can actually see my face, which for better or worse. Um, so anyway, um, the sigil I want to make today is a follow up to one that I was making earlier and that I actually got criticized for. And part of this video is just oh yeah, I want to show this person who said not very nice things that actually I don't use an algorithm in the sense that she imagined it, but I do manual placement of pretty much the entire thing. It's just, it's computer assisted, but a lot of things are computer assisted nowadays. So anyway, um, I want to grab my template and get down to it. So... The sigil I made earlier today was for Lilith, but it wasn't just her name. It was uh, this, I guess I need to explain this concept briefly. Uh, there's this concept called an N, which is um, basically a phrase in a non-human language that is supposed to capture or reference uh, an, an entity's energy signature. Although ends are pretty much only for demonic type entities. Um, and Lilith is kind of a special case because she's not necessarily a demon, but she has a demon aspect and it gets complicated. And kind of same deal for Lucifer, which is whose end I want to make uh, in this video. So, like, yeah, he's got kind of an angelic, like, fallen angel aspect based on, you know, the mythology and all that. Um, but fallen angels don't reside in, you know, quote unquote heaven anymore. Uh, but rather they're, they've fallen into the darkness or whatever. It's, I don't know. I, I'm like not prepared to give a proper spiel on Lucifer, but suffice it to say that I want to take the phrase that is his N or his energy signature phrase thingy that, these ends are kind of of dubious origins, so it's... The thing is, though, like, despite their kind of murky origins of possibly... I guess, like, they're supposedly channeled by practitioners, but really the important thing is that a lot of people work with the ends, and they help them connect to these entities, so it's kind of like the proof's in the pudding. Um, so anyway, let's get my Frank Roll rule libre font going here and make it bigger and so the ends are like in latin characters but um i kind of hebrewified them because of course i did because i'm a hebrew nerd <laughs> um so the actual phrase is um Renish Tasa Uberaka Biasa Ikar Lucifer. Um, so I've basically Hebrewified that. And I'm looking on my phone because well I have I have it on my wallpaper. Um, just to remind myself. So basically I just need to look at my phone and copy the phrase because I don't need to make make the conversion on the spot. Whoops. Come on. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Dude. I guess if I like pick the font first, that doesn't like it. Come on. Dude. I have to do this again. Yeah, so like, I guess 
if I do things in the wrong order, the font doesn't remember that it's supposed to be right to left, so it goes left to right. And Hebrew looks fucking bizarre, left to right. So let's not, <laughs> let's not do that. Get my font going. And switch back to my keyboard layout. All right. Uh, I'm touch typing as in the past because I don't have a Hebrew keyboard. So I have to remember where the letters are by muscle memory. Uh, Oh my god, why is this lagging? It's like lagging. It's annoying. And I'm gonna run out of space. I'm gonna have to make a new line. No. <sighs> Actually, maybe we can get away with this. And there's supposed to be like a little apostrophe thingy to like because Hebrew doesn't have a, like, a CH sound. Because, like, it's, you pronounce it Lucifer in English, but it's, like, Lucifer. It's, like, a chi sound, and it doesn't have that. So you do a tzadi with, like, a little apostrophe. But I'm not going to use the apostrophe in the sigil, so I'm just going to omit that. All right. So we got the phrase. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm missing a yod here. My bad. There we go. Okay. Now, I've made, I made like one other sigil for Lucifer before, and I went with the, I opted to use the name Helel or Helel, um, which is basically in the Bible. It's not written Lucifer. It's, it's this word that has kind of a, hard to figure out origin because it's not really used elsewhere so scholars are like well what does this word actually mean um but i'm just going with like the latin to hebrew version rather than like this biblical word that may or may not refer to lucifer some think it referred to like an actual human king um which i'm not enough of a bible scholar to have an opinion on this. So I'm just going with a safe choice here um, and using Lucifer. Um, anyway, I'm dragging this out. I, I need to actually make the sigil. I'm doing way the fuck too much talking. So uh, let's get down to it. So this is our phrase for the inner part. And uh, that spelling of Lucifer is six letters. Okay, so like in one of my videos, I was complaining about, oh, the star is not like centered. Well, if I hold down shift and like make the star, I can, it'll snap to its points. So that was a silly concern I had before that has been uh, remediated <laughs> since then. Remedied? Yeah, remedied. I don't know. Words. All right, so let's, let's make a border. Since, since the outside part is just going to be his name, it's only six letters, so it's going to be not as annoying a positioning process as some of my other sigils that have a lot more letters. So yeah, this is a lot easier. And I need another text layer. Uh, whoops. Let's see if I have... And switch the font again. I really wish there were a faster way to do the font thing, but okay. And this fill is distracting me. Let's get rid of that. This is only to help me position as in the past. So um, convert to path. I'm trying to remember the keyboard shortcuts. So like control shift P converts to path and then control shift J splits the path apart. Um, control J joins. So like the shift, I guess, kind of is a negative modifier sort of. And let's make the canvas color black just for, for the time being to uh, make my life a little easier. And in previous video, 
in one of my previous videos, I was like, yeah, you can't see it, but I'm craning my neck to examine whether the spacing is correct. But since I'm trying this whole picture-in-picture -picture thing, you're going to be able to actually see my video, and I'm going to look incredibly silly doing the neck crane. But that is actually what I do when I make these. I crane my neck in, like, different directions and kind of just verify to myself that the positioning is as accurate as I can get it with my fallible human eyes. And I've got my mechanical keyboard, so you're going to hear the clicking. Click, click, click. I'm in a pretty good mood right now because I, I just showered and I just shaved my face and I'm all clean and doing a thing for Lucifer who's really cool, chill deity, entity. Um, and also I haven't really interacted with him much recently and I feel kind of bad about it. So it's kind of like a offering of sorts like, hey, I'm going to make a sigil out of your N. Isn't that a pleasant surprise? I hope you like. Now, of course, the critic person I was referencing earlier was basically just shitting on my sigil making process, being like, oh, it's an algorithm. It's not really, it's not a real sigil. Um, <laughs> fucking elitist bullshit, if you ask me. But, um, yeah, I mean, I play nice because, well decorum and all that which ironically she's supposed to embody with her practice but sometimes fails to live up to it um but i mean that's fine we all fail to live up to stuff my practice is kind of a mess at the moment so i'm not i'm not one to throw stones here um but yeah let's get this oresh positioned that's good enough good enough good enough all right, uh, fit all, alt control zero. Cause like, yeah, it's, it's annoying having to look for these keyboard shortcuts all the time. Let's hide that and reveal our text, which should be up top. And uh, this is like a really long phrase. <laughs> And split, control shift J, and then we've got to fix the letters that are fucked up because <laughs> these are complex paths and it kind of just split it up into its component pieces. So you have to redo them. It's only a few letters that have this problem, but it's fine. I'm just doing keyboard shortcuts now, to save time. Control J, Control J, make sure that all my letters are in one piece, subtract, Control Shift P, and then we got U, Control J, and that's all of them. So now let's just like make word soup, mush them up together. Uh, this is the the fun part. I think in one of the videos I talked about, or briefly mentioned rather, uh, the concept of removing duplicate letters because um, as part of like the obfuscation process, but I'm not all that confident about my rendition of this non-English and non-Hebrew phrase into Hebrew letters because... It's, it's like too many transitions, so I don't know if I actually want to, like, fuck with removing duplicate letters. It's honestly just going to become a more complicated um, figure, and that's fine. So, let's get to it. Let's start mushing up letters. And in previous videos, I kind of was like, it doesn't super matter... How they're mushed up the important point the, the important part is to capture the semantic meaning by like 
you know, including the components of, of the meaning that you're trying to go for. Uh, this just not want to align nicely. What can we do about that? Just cover it up. <laughs> cover up the imperfections with other letters. That works. Um, right, I'm supposed to keep talking. I feel like it's poor form to just go dead silent when I'm doing one of these. Um, but also I have to, I have to juggle talking with actually focusing on this. Um, so that's kind of the tricky part. And I'm a bit tired since I went for a run earlier and my brain is not at 100% capacity right now. So like, one would say, one might think, well, maybe I shouldn't be making a YouTube video and potentially making an ass out of myself. But I kind of got excited about this idea and I'm willing to risk coming off less than ideal in my presentation because I just, I wanna do it. I wanna do the thing. And besides, nobody watches my videos anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> like, if I am to be honest, nobody gives a shit about my channel because I don't promote it and I don't, like, produce enough content for it to be anyone's, to be worth anyone's while. And as I say this, I'm, like, thinking to myself, oh, right, I'm doing that self-deprecation thing I shouldn't be doing because that's bad because it's, like, you know, putting yourself down is, is not... There's, there's enough other people who put you down. There's no good reason to do that to yourself. But I'm not being, like, super serious about it. It's, I don't know. There's, like, kind of a fine line between self-deprecating humor and just straight up being shitty to yourself. And I need to be honest with myself about when and if I cross that line. I've got this dead space in here that I'm not thrilled about. And of course, like, it's, it's likely that I'm going to share this video with the person who's been criticizing me. And it's not like criticism is bad necessarily, if it's constructive criticism, but she's basically just like, go draw on a real piece of paper. Like, this doesn't count. Like, it's not really constructive. It's, it's really just kind of trying to knock me down uh, a couple notches or whatever. And I kind of roll my eyes because, you know, like, I try to not... Well, I'm going to not finish that thought. <laughs> because... Anyway, yeah, like, it's not constructive criticism, but... I know for a fact that, like, if she sees this video, she's going to be like, yeah, see, you're not putting hours of thought and, like, consideration into your sigil. You're just fucking around with shapes. Like, how does this count? And, well, I don't know. Maybe I was I was saying in the chat earlier, like, if she's so offended by me calling these sigils, then I'll just call them mandalas because they kind of are mandalas. Like, I'm not trying to do magic with these sigils at the moment. They're kind of just, like partially an art project and partially like a thing I might use for meditation purposes. Um, like just kind of looking at it and trying to connect with the energies of the entity whose sigil I'm making. So yeah, maybe, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's like not a big deal that, whoops, what did I do? Ah, resize the thing again. Maybe it's not a big deal that I'm not doing it the right way whatever. Uh, I, I'm honestly like think overthinking this and letting her shit affect me too much. And that's not good either. So I need to try to not do so much of that. Anyway, I hope this doesn't turn out like shitty. Where the fuck do I put this Aleph? Problem is there's a lot of Alephs in this because Aleph's kind of like the reach for it 
just like universal vowel like a or e or something like when you're trying to convert something from another language you're probably going to use aleph a bunch because it just it's like syntactic glue almost i don't know all right let's see Yeah, this, this kind of looks eh. Whoops. That's right, I was supposed to hide my ellipses so that I don't accidentally select them. Um, but of course I should group this so that I can hide everything that's in my way. And I usually make a backup of the base shape in case... Oh man, there's like two olives next to each other. It's like kind of, yeah. Uh, anyway. Um, let's get to it. <laughs> I'm sorry, my like commentary is pretty disjointed this time around. I'm just, I'm not all there mentally right now, which is, it is what it is. And so this has a chance of not turning out amazing for that reason as well. Because if I'm not at 100%, like, my creative effort might just kind of not be at 100% either. But I'm not going to declare defeat just yet. I feel like that would be rather premature. Um, Actually, I kind of like how this is shaping up already. It's it's amazing, like what mirroring and rotating can do to some a shape that doesn't look all that amazing to start out with. You can paper over a lot of imperfections. Um, okay, so here's the part where I'm actually like innovating a bit over my previous work because. My previous sigils are all like, take the thing, rotate it 90 degrees. Um, basically, like you end up with eight prongs. And that's fine if your sigil has eight letters on the outside, but it's a bit bizarre to not match up with the number of letters. So I kind of have been seeking to remedy that. And basically that entails doing a tiny bit of math so you've got 360 degrees in a circle, right? Um, so depending on the number of letters you have, in my case, I have six. So 360 divided by six is a nice even number. So let's just start rotating by 60 degrees. Um, trying to get okay I think that's I think that's six I kind of like this but really this is not quite what I'm going for because the reason I I uh I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Let me let me do the mechanical thing first, and then explain it after the fact. Oh wow, that didn't actually make a difference. <laughs> That's funny. That's fine, I guess. Um, I guess that's just because of like the symmetry. Because usually I'll delete half of the group and it'll thin out the herd. There will be less stuff. But that didn't actually make a difference. And it's because of the symmetry. I'm doing a real shitty job of explaining this. I'm sorry. Um, okay, and I want to rotate this. Um, hello? What the fuck? Okay, no, 30.
trying to figure out if I actually like this, the outcome of this. I have mixed feelings about it. If it doesn't quite turn out the way I want it to, I might just like take that initial shape and rework it. But let's let's get all these edges lined up and see how I feel about it. I'm always a bit surprised when these don't turn out to be square. It's like, wait, what? Why are they not square? Now I'm like wondering. Wait, whoops, wrong one. If you zoom out, I don't know, the center is like too busy. It doesn't look bad per se, but I'm not quite satisfied with it. So I'm going to just hide that group and start over from my, my base shape here. Um, and make another backup in case this version doesn't turn out the way I like it either. With the Lilith sigil, things kind of, it was a one take, like it kind of just, first try, I felt good about it. But this one is a little bit, I think it's because the N is just longer. These always get like trickier with longer phrases. So let's kind of just see what you can do with it. I just flip horizontal. Silly, that's not going to do anything. I think this might actually turn out better. Maybe. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Um, my commentary is really falling apart. I'm sorry, guys. This is turning into kind of a train wreck as far as... I'm not being interesting enough, so you'll have to, I guess, enjoy the output of this if it goes anywhere productive. Okay, so 60. I'm watching the angle over there. Basically, once I get to negative 60, I'm done. Ooh, this is kind of more interesting still have the same problem these top parts don't really i don't know i'm not like a huge fan but i feel like this is probably an improvement over the other one and then i want to rotate this 30 degrees as well I kind of like this sort of negative space action here. It It's kind of nice, I think, maybe. <laughs> and this is probably too big. Nope, actually it's not. I'm at the same boat. I'm like, it's kind of nice, but I want to see if I can fix the edges. The outer part, like how it links up to the sigil circle is the part that I'm not pleased with. Um, that's the part that is apparently giving me trouble. Ooh, okay. I 
I kind of like the convergence of, of this. It kind of fits together with itself nicely, I guess. I think this might actually work better. I'm sorry, I'm not really explaining anymore. I'm kind of just doing... Oh shit, that, that looks fucking cool, that inner part. The problem is if, like, it looks cool now, but once it's rotated, it might not work quite as well. It'll get too cluttered. That's why I try to, like, space things out well. All right, so let's do... Oh my goodness, this is definitely... Yeah, I like this a lot better. This looks like very snowflakey, but that's not a bad thing. I like this clustering. This actually looks like a fucking snowflake. But I think that's a positive for for Lucifer. I think that's not a bad thing. Cuz like there's just like something very elegant about how this looks and I I feel like it should match up with his elegance, right? Like I don't know. Um, oh yeah, this is, here we go. We got a fucking keeper right here. This is one that I actually feel good about. <laughs> the other two are like, I was like, you know, they're not bad, but there's something I don't quite, that doesn't, oh God, that's too big. That doesn't quite click with me. But these, oh, this is, this is what I want. Why the fuck is this so big? too big way too big the other one was 1300 i don't know why oh <laughs> the other dimension again it's not a square somehow even though it's fucking symmetrical go figure uh, let's do a little bit bigger I, I tend to prefer when it touches the circle just a little bit. Kind of taps into the... I don't know. Oh, yeah, this is dank. I like this. I like this. Let's do Alt-Control-0 to get the fit. And it's not going to remain white. Um, I need to... Um, I don't want to do this on my computer because it's going to fuck up the video. So I'm just going to, there's a wiki page for web colors and there's a color called like goldenrod that I think might look nice or just straight up gold. I think gold might work better. Gold is FFD7. So let's, let's do that, I guess. So I feel like some of these are redundant. I probably only need the first three because of symmetry. And I need to ungroup these so that I can actually set the color more easily. FFD7. Zero, zero. Oh, yeah. Like that. Like that a lot. And let's set the color for the outer part. Seven, zero. Actually, honestly, I can just use a color picker from here on out to keep fucking setting the color. And yeah, wow. I think, I mean, I'm not Lucifer, but if I were, I would fucking love this. So I hope that he likes it too. So let's, let's save that under the appropriate name. Keep smacking my phone. Eh, come on. And, um, yeah, I have no idea how long this video is. Hopefully not as long as my other ones. My other videos are way too fucking long. So, yeah, let's, um, I'm just gonna call it. 
Has this been recording? This is 35 minutes. Okay, that's not as bad. <laughs> it's better. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching and listening to me struggle to find my words. <sighs> ah, anyway, yeah, I feel good about this. Good night.